You all ready? Okay. Um, so I think you all know me, but I'm Emily, in case anyone here has never met me. Um, <laughs> and today, you just heard Pastor Zach read the Bible verse, so we're going to talk about anger. Have you, has anyone in this room ever been angry? Put your hand up if you've been angry. Okay, everyone, I think everyone's been angry. Oh yes, Asher hasn't been angry. Um, <laughs> so maybe for you kids, you wanted to play with a toy that someone else had, or your parents said it was time for bed and you didn't feel like going, or maybe um, you wanted to play with someone and they didn't want to play with you, so you got angry. God says before we even say or do mean things, there's anger in our hearts and minds. And even that is wrong and it hurts God and others. That anger can lead to calling someone a mean name or yelling or stomping off, which we've probably all done at some point in our lives. Does anyone know the name of God's son who came down to earth? <sighs> Josiah? Yes! <laughs> Jesus! Um, well, when Jesus was on earth teaching people about God, there were some people called Pharisees. Can you guys say Pharisees? Pharisees! Yay! Um, it's a hard word to say. The Pharisees worked really hard to look good on the outside and do all the right things so people would think, wow, they're so much like God. But Jesus said they were actually like a dirty cup or like a dirty bowl. So I brought this bowl that I guess is actually, well, it's clean on the outside. It's a little stained or whatnot. But, um, and I, I could have made like cookies in it or something. But then when I looked at it, look in there, doesn't that look pretty yucky? It's maple syrup and dirt. It's really gross. Um, so, so God, um, when Jesus was on earth, he saw that the Pharisees were like this bowl. They worked really hard to look good on the outside, but on the inside, they were full of dirt. Um, even if they made everyone think they were good, they're, on the inside they were angry and they um, didn't really care about people and didn't care about their bad thoughts. We all get angry sometimes for the wrong reasons and end up having hearts that look like this dirty bowl. Um, God's rules show us that everyone has messed up. I've messed up. Everybody here has messed up. And you know what? God will always forgive us when we ask him for forgiveness. But a bit of a trick question here. Do you guys think that Jesus ever got angry? What do you think? Do you think he got angry? Okay, I see a no. I see another no. Okay, I see a yes. No. He actually did. Okay, he did. But you know what? It wasn't wrong when Jesus got mad because Jesus got mad when people were mean to other people. Some people turned the temple, which was like their church, into a big store, and they were selling things in the store and cheating people and taking extra money. And Jesus wasn't just like, well, whatever, I'm not going to get angry. He got really angry because he saw that there wasn't even room in the church for the people who needed help, and everyone was cheating people. So it can be okay and even good to feel angry when we see other people are not being treated fairly. That anger can be for something that God cares about and it can energize us to act when, and care when people are being hurt. So, almost done. Then we're going to do something really cool over here. So God wants to see his great big love in our hearts so that other people will know how awesome he is. But we need God's help because things like anger and mean thoughts start to bubble up inside of us sometimes. So I've got this little glass here and we all deal with anger throughout the day. So let's say we got a little bit angry and we dealt with it right away. So see, we, got, we bubbled up a little bit, but we can talk to God, we can ask for forgiveness, we can go to the other person and say, hey, I'm sorry that I did that, and we can work it out with them. Um, and if we don't ask God for help and try to make it right, and we keep having angry thoughts and angry things, look what happens in our lives. We bubble up and bubble up and then we blow over and it makes a big mess, which this looks really cool, but when it's happening in real life, it's not cool. So don't get the wrong message here. Um, so that made a big mess and I'm going to have to clean it up. And when it's people, it's even more messy when we accidentally hurt people with our anger. So um, do you think that you will ever get angry again now that we've talked about anger? Do you think you'll ever get angry again? Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah, I think that was a yes from everyone. I will too, actually. I know I will get angry. Um, but next time you start to feel upset, you can pray and ask God to help you, and you can talk to a grown-up so that they can help you say sorry to someone if you've been mean to them, or that you can um, try having a better attitude about what you're asked to do. Um, and then your anger won't build up and overflow into other people's lives too. So I hope that was um, <laughs> helpful. And now I think Pastor Zach is going to talk. Thank you guys.